John Gunn, because of his background and the kind of films that he's made, they all have a lot of heart. There's, there's some inspirational base films that he's, that he's put together. He's just the right guy for this project. And I think that he had the unique ability to bottle it all up and to build all the kind of pressure on Ed that was really there at the moment, you know, that most people didn't quite, you know, understand just how much the guy went through, you know, to get this done. And, and then Sharon is really a, just an absolute hero. She's just a common hairdresser. She raised that tens of thousands of dollars. She put a ton of her own money into the into trying to help the kids and just would not say no. You know, she just wouldn't take no for an answer. And uh, when I read the script, I realized that the pace, the timing, the character development, the, the, it, it felt like I felt understanding the story, sort of walking through the cold and trying to interview people. And I could just feel their absolute raw passion for what had happened. I was really floored when uh, Hilary Swank got the, you know, agreed to play the part because she's got the acting chops to do it. You know, she's won an Academy Award for good reasons. Everything she's done has been done, you know, with tremendous uh, range, you know, and, and heart. And she, you know, she kind of reminds me of Sharon. She's got that sort of innate toughness. I just watched him on Reacher, you know, so I'm sitting at home and uh, I didn't know he was cast in the part. I said, man, this guy's going to be a movie star. It's the first time I saw him on TV. I had no idea who he was. And, um, uh, and I was just telling my wife that. And I told a couple other people. I said, I just watched this guy. I told my son, you know. And then, lo and behold, they said, oh, guess who we cast for Ed? It was Ed Rich uh, Alan Richardson. And I went, my gosh, what a weird coincidence.